Recently, Johnny Depp scored a big win over Amber Heard, which could end up exposing a lot. Although this hasn't been the only win for Johnny throughout this seemingly never-ending case. That's why today I'm going to be talking about all of the reasons that Johnny Depp can win against Amber Heard. But first, I'm going to tell you about this brand new top 10 channel that we are premiering called Bumblebee. Bumblebee is the next big channel for the lovers of the strange, mysterious, and everything else. We have worked so hard for months on this, and the launch date is set for August 11th. And I believe that we actually have a special promo for you. Roll the clip. Oh, hi. Hey Bumblebees, are you ready for the biggest top 10 channel yet? Because <gasps> if you are, you need to go like and subscribe to Bumblebee right now. You can be the first one to hop on there and make a really gross bee pun because we've been busy. So make sure you check out that channel when it comes out and tap that like button right now to show some love to us. And with that out of the way, let's begin. In at number 10, Defended by Exes. With Johnny Depp's character being called into question after the release of that Washington Post article, it was paramount that his previous partners weighed in on the situation, which is exactly what we got back in March of 2020. Both Winona Ryder and Vanessa Parody came forward to offer supportive statements for Johnny Depp. In a witness statement, Vanessa said, I have known Johnny for more than 25 years. We were partners for 14 years and raised our two children together. Through all these years, I've known Johnny to be a kind, attentive, generous, and nonviolent person and father. He was never violent or abusive to me. With Winona Ryder adding, I cannot wrap my head around Heard's accusations. He was never, never violent towards me. He was never, never abusive at all towards me. On top of that, Amber has never actually denied that she hit Johnny Depp, which we will get to shortly. Coming number nine, friends with the judge. When it comes to being a judge, there is one thing that you need to be, objective. You cannot make a rational decision if there is a conflict of interest involved. Justice Nickel, who decided the Sun's article about Depp was substantially true, came under fire for his decision after it was revealed that he had links to Amber Heard. Not only that, but he co-wrote a book on media law with Jeffrey Robertson, whose wife was friendly with Jennifer Robinson. Johnny Depp's legal team also claimed that Nickel failed to undertake any adequate analysis of Miss Heard's shifting account, despite the importance of consistency as a consideration of a witness testimony. Plus, Depp's barrister added, he excluded relevant evidence from his consideration, ignored or dismissed as irrelevant matters that substantially undermined Miss Heard, made findings unsupported by the evidence, and failed to assess whether her allegations could withstand proper scrutiny. The judge failed to properly assess her credibility by reference to documentary evidence, photographs, recordings, or otherwise. Coming to number 8, War on Terrier. Back in April of 2016, Amber Heard was also involved in what the media dubbed the War on Terrier debacle. Her and Depp had to do this really awkward apology video because Amber had violated Australia's biosecurity codes by not declaring the Yorkshire Terriers that she brought into the country. And Australians are just as unique, both warm and direct. When you disrespect Australian law, they will tell you firmly. I am truly sorry that Pistol and Boo were not declared. Then prosecutors dropped two more charges on Amber for illegally importing the Terriers while Depp had been filming the fifth movie in the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. The conviction on the illegal importation counts could have possibly sent her to prison for up to 10 years. Additionally, false documents can actually charge carriers a maximum penalty of a year in jail and a fine of more than 10,000 Australian dollars. However, Magistrate Bernadette Callahan only sentenced her to a one month good behavior bond, which essentially means that she will have to pay a thousand dollar fine if she commits any further offenses in Australia. Although this certainly adds to her track record of lying. Coming at number 7, History of Addiction. Another piece of the story that often gets overlooked is the history of addiction that certainly played a role in this messy divorce. Depp has acknowledged many times that he has tried to kick habits of heavy drug use during the period of his marriage, but added that he sometimes had lapsed. Amber though was not some drug free saint that could help him through this. In fact, one could argue that her addiction habits only helped fuel their toxic relationship. During one courtroom hearing, Depp claimed that Heard had chopped out lines of cocaine for him before rubbing some of the drug onto her own gums. Depp's lawyer also noted that Heard experienced anxiety, insecurity, and jealousy that would manifest itself in severe outbursts of anger and rage. When Sasha Waz said that Amber often would have two or three glasses of wine during an evening, Depp fired back with two or three bottles. Coming to number 6, Illegal Staff Members Amber Heard willfully lied again, except this time to US Immigration by telling them that her British personal assistant was just a friend and was not working unlawfully. Her former aide, Kate James, who was fired by the actress in February 2015, alleged in a high court battle that Miss Heard deliberately smuggled her dogs into Australia, which led to her being caught breaching court quarantine rules and overall thinking that she was above the law. The claims were made in a witness statement by Ms. James which was submitted to the High Court as part of Johnny Depp's libel action against the Sun newspaper. Not only that, but Heard also asked Depp's former estate manager to lie under oath after she was charged with bringing her two dogs into Australia illegally. Coming number 5, Stealing Stories 
Now, if this one happens to be true, then Amber Heard is truly a bad person. According to her former personal assistant, Kate James, Amber had stolen her story of SA. According to Kate, she had told her former boss about a time where she was held at Machete Point in Brazil. She then said how she was shocked to learn that in a witness statement, Heard allegedly misrepresented and exploited her story to gain sympathy in court. In her statement, Kate said, She referred directly to a violent essay that occurred to me 26 years ago and she twisted it into her own story and she used it for her own use. I am a sexual violence survivor and that's very, very serious to take that stance if you are not one. Coming in number four, Doggy Doo Doo. One of the most bizarre incidents to make its way into this case was the mystery about who left poop in Johnny Depp's bed. Heard had celebrated her 30th birthday at the home that she shared with Depp and then went to Coachella afterwards, which is what she is using as her excuse for why she shouldn't be implicated. However, Amber sort of stuck her foot in her mouth when she said that the housekeeper typically cleans up after their dogs whenever they happen to defecate in the house. So when the housekeeper was called into questioning, you would think that she would be able to substantiate that this was all just a big misunderstanding. Unfortunately for Amber, the housekeeper said that she has worked for Depp for more than than 30 years and confirmed that she had never known either dog to defecate in the bed, adding that neither dog could even jump onto the bed if they wanted to. Plus she told the courtroom that she handled a lot of dog poop and this one seemed to be human. Amber, you nasty. Coming number 3, False Charity Donations. If you remember, Amber Heard vowed to donate her $7 million divorce settlement to the ACLU and Children's Hospital in Los Angeles. According to Depp's lawyer, Andrew Caldicott, he said that the donation was a calculated and manipulative lie that tipped the scales against Johnny Depp from the very beginning. Depp's legal team then filed a petition with the New York Supreme Court to force the ACLU to hand over official documents that prove Amber's donation was indeed real. Not that long ago, though, the organization refused to cooperate, but with a judge ruling in favor of 23 out of the 24 requests in the motion to compel, they're legally going to have to cough up the receipts. The only request that the judge denied was for the documents pertaining to Amber's sudden role as a brand ambassador for the ACLU. Not only is it morally reprehensible to take money that you promised to a children's hospital, but it also means that people in the courtroom were manipulated into thinking that she was just a super charitable person. At the end of the day though, we will just have to wait and see what the subpoena brings about. I'm calling it now though, if she is found to have lied about the donations and the ACLU can't even bring up legit receipts, then it could be game over for Amber Heard. Coming number 2, The Busted Lip. The initial reports that came out against Johnny Depp were that he slapped Amber, dragged her by the hair through their apartment, and then repeatedly punched her in the head. When asked in the courtroom what injuries she had sustained, Amber said that she had two black eyes, a broken nose, a broken rib, bruises all over her body, and that Depp had busted up her lip. However, the problem with Amber's timeline is that when she alleged these events to have taken place, a video from that evening's festivity shows her on camera after the alleged fight and with no signs of bruising whatsoever, which led Depp's defense team to accuse her of building this new set of lies that all the attacks actually took place after everyone had left the home. The other way that she was caught lying was when the lawyers cited her appearance on the Late Late Show with James Corden right after her allegations put Depp's alleged attacks around this time. The clip was played in court and again Heard had no visible bruises. Last but certainly not least in our number one spot, the police report. In April of last year, Johnny Depp had filed a defamation lawsuit against Amber for $50 million after she wrote an opinion piece for the Washington Post about the duress that she was suffering from being with him. As a result, Depp was fired from his role as Captain Jack Sparrow in the Pirates of the Caribbean and his reputation was severely tarnished. However, Depp's lawyers received a bombshell of an audio confession where Heard admits to hitting Johnny. In the audio, she says, I'm sorry that I didn't uh, uh, hit you across the face in a proper slap, but I was hitting you, it was not punching you. Babe, you're not punched. Later adding, I don't know what the motion of my actual hand was, but you're fine. I did not hurt you, I did not punch you, I was hitting you. Following this, the hashtag Justice for Johnny began trending with fans of his urging for her to not only be removed from the next Aquaman film, but also face criminal charges. But guys, that has been the top 10 reasons Johnny Depp can win against Amber Heard, but before we get out of here, I'm going to check out some of your comments from the video titled, Top 10 Times Celebrities Exceeded Expectations Part 2. Lazan Futura says, we need so many more of these kind of stories. I definitely agree. I love the feel good news stories, and especially when we can bring them into a top 10 like that. Tony Grant says, I'm looking forward to checking the videos on Bumblebee. They sound like they're going to be the bee's knees. <laughs> You guys are gonna get along great. Michaela says, Aw, Robin Williams, what a wonderful, gentle soul. He certainly was, may he rest in peace. Azir Zanel says, What can I say? These celebrities know how to appreciate their fans as human beings. Without them, they're nothing, really down to earth, and I hope your new channel will be massive. We're hoping it'll be massive too, and it is nice to see celebrities giving back to their fans like that. Charlotte Flavelle says, I'm not surprised Raven is on this list. Fans on YouTube have met her to have said that she is very, very nice. I definitely can cooperate with those stories that, you know, there's so many stories just specifically about Raven Simone being super nice to her fans. I wonder if we could even do a top 10 just, just based on her nice interactions. Hit me up in the comments down below if you have any nice uh, Raven Simone interactions. But guys, that is the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Johnny Rogers, and until next time, stay classy, YouTube, or at least try. Not only that, but he co wrote a book on media law with Joffrey, with Joffrey Robertson. Robertson. <clears throat>
I'm going to take it from the start of that sentence. <clears throat> now, is it Jeffrey? I always say Joffrey. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say Jeffrey. Depp's legal team also claimed that Nickel failed to undertake any or an an or an 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 or uh, that's a hard one, yeah. Or an an or an adequate analysis. All right, let's take it slow. De <laughs> Depp's legal team also claimed that Nickel failed to undertake any or an an or <laughs> God damn, I just keep tripping that one. Or an inadequate analysis. Fail to uh, judge Nickel. Fail to undertake any adequate analysis of Miss Heard's shifting account. I guess you could rephrase it to sound better. You have to say the exact quote. Yeah, it's it's, that's it's true. Small. You can cut it or change it. All right, let me let me try to take this slow. <clears throat> It's always like when I see the words though, it, it trips me up like mid-sentence because I'm like trying to find a way to come back in. All right. <clears throat>